let's briefly have it and talk about the pathology of what, acute appendicitis. Now, I'm talking about the pathology of a disease condition. It's basically like you're looking at what a step by step of how this disease actually came to be, or you are also looking at um, you are also looking at what the characteristics because the step by step is basically the characteristics of the disease condition. All right, so a pathology of acute appendicitis. So first of all, there will be obstruction. And what is this obstruction? Obstruction is basically the blockage of the appendix lumen by fecal leaks. And what is fecal leaks? It could be that it was hardened feces, right? It could be that it, there was lymphoid tissue overgrowth, okay? That led to the blockage, okay? So first of all, for appendicitis to come into place, okay, the lumen of the appendix must be blocked by something, okay? So since the appendix is attached to the large intestine, it could be that some feces actually leaked out, blocked it, right? Then this inflammation will lead to, this obstruction will lead to inflammation, okay? So increased blood flow and swelling of the appendix wall will lead to what? Edema, which is fluid accumulation, neutrophil infiltration, which is basically what? Uh, white blood cell moving to the area, try to tackle the inflammation. Then, um, the neutrophils can kill some of the, um, yeah, because as there's inflammation, there could be, yeah, there could be infection. Only the inflammation itself can actually attract what um, these neutrophils, right? And it can also lead to cell death in the process, all right? Then to be followed by what infection, where we say that there's bacteria overgrowth, okay? And typically, the types of bacteria you see here are the gram negative rods like that's Escherichia coli, Klebsiella. Then you can also see some anaerobic bacteria like what bacterials, close freedom, and the rest. Then after the infection, it could lead to ischemia. What is ischemia? Ischemia is basically reduced blood flow to the, the appendix. Now, when the blood flow to the appendix is reduced, it can actually lead to what hypoxia which is oxygen or deficiency. It can also lead to gangrene, that's tissue death, okay? And it can lead to perforation, that's rupture of the appendix. That's after inflammation, infection, then ischemia, then it can perforate, all right? And when it perforates, it can lead to spillage of the contents into the abdominal cavity, all right? Then if there's an infection, this infection can now start spreading to other parts of the abdomen, all right? And the most common part which will be affected is the peritoneal cavity, all right? You have an inflammation of the peritoneal cavity, that's what peritonitis, all right? The progression. If left untreated, acute appendicitis can lead to things like what? Abscess formation, intestinal obstruction, and septicemia, which is a blood infection, all right? So for the summary, we said that uh, there will be luminal obstruction, right? Now, let's talk about the possible causes of what? The luminal obstruction. It could be that what? Lymphoid tissue grew too much, so it's now obstructing the lumen of the appendix. It could be from fecolites. Fecolites is basically what? Feces. Feces leaked out from the large intestine to come block it. It could be some inspitated what? Ins... Ins... Spicated or barium. It could be some fruit seeds. All right. If some fruit seeds can block the appendix, it could be worms. Okay. It could be extra luminal obstructions like what from cecum. All right. And um, raised intraluminal pressure because if there's obstruction of the lumen, the pressure you need to be raised. Okay. So, what are the things that are making this pressure raise? It could be that the obstruction led to what? Post formation or mucus formation, right? And the mucus accumulated. It could be that if it was blocked by bacteria, you could just easily say that these bacteria are now growing, okay? So you have multiplication of bacteria like E. coli, bacterials, Peptostreptococcus, Pseudomonas, right? So they are basically growing and it's causing increased pressure, right? Then it could also be as a result of what? Venous and lymphoid congestion.
right? So that's it about the pathology of what killer appendicitis. Basically, what step by step to how this condition comes to be. See you guys.